Hey everybody, it's me, Lindsay, and welcome to Soar From Home. Today, I'm actually at my home because I'm still on maternity leave. Don't worry, the baby is right here taking a nap and she can totally breathe. And as you guys can see by the title today, we're gonna focus on a couple of techniques for breathing. Now this is a life skill because working on breathing techniques is a calming strategy when we get angry or sad or too excited or we're just worked up, we can breathe and calm our bodies. So this is a very important life skill because that happens a lot. You know, me, I'm at home right now with my son Connor, who's at school right now, who's eight, and then this little Coralie, who's a newborn. And sometimes I just need to take a minute to breathe to get my body reset so I can focus and be calm to be a good mom. It just helps us be the best version of ourselves, right? That's our goal, is always to be the best version of ourselves we can be. So we're gonna do a couple different techniques today. Now, you might already do some of these, totally fine, but watch through and see if there are some you don't know. All right, and we're gonna practice. All right, now a lot of these techniques, you're gonna see what I call circle breathing. Now circle breathing doesn't mean that I'm gonna somehow get my air to breathe in a circle in my lungs, no. It means I'm gonna breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. You can see my nose in and out my mouth creates a circle. So that's just a really good breath control technique to really help calm your body. So, uh, but some of these are gonna seem silly or crazy or maybe out there, but that's okay. Follow along and we're gonna have time to practice, so don't worry. All right, the first one that we're gonna do is a really good technique if you're really upset or um, agitated, somebody told you something you didn't like, this is a really good technique to help you um, calm your body and to focus on something else. And this is called blowing out the birthday candles. So right now, because of COVID and everything, you're not gonna wanna do this with another person. Sometimes this is done with somebody else, but it's very simple. You're gonna hold up your 10 fingers in front of your face. And if you don't need 10, you can do five, but you're gonna hold up your 10 fingers in, in front of your face. And these are gonna represent the candles you're blowing out, okay? And individually, you're gonna blow out each candle. So you're gonna do a circle breath. So that means you're gonna go blow in through your nose and out through your mouth like you would a birthday candle, but each candle is gonna get blown individually, okay? So we're gonna do this together. Hold up your hands. I'm gonna show you the first one and then join me for the next nine. So I'm gonna go in through my nose, I blew out my one candle. All right, so join me. All right, three down. Blowing your hard air out. One hand all done. Let's keep going. All right, now the other way you can do your candle blowing out exercise is if you have all 10 up and you are just so angry, you can do a long breath to blow them all out. So that way you're gonna go really big in and really big out. And that's gonna take all your air to blow out those candles. All right, so that's blow out the candles. Think about how you feel after you did that exercise. If you want to, if you're watching this in a group setting, you can pause the video, talk about with your group, how did that exercise make you feel or practice the exercise a little bit more. So if you're gonna do that, go ahead and pause. If you're not, come with me and we're gonna do the next one. Okay, so this one is very similar to anything you've ever done with like, you know, when you blow in and you go out. This is called volcano breathing. It's just a better visual to what you're doing. So for this, it's about long calming breaths, but you're gonna do like a volcano where you're gonna have your hands, and I'm gonna scooch back a bit, and you're gonna bring your hands up like you're making a volcano, 
and then it's gonna explode out of the top like this, all right? And we're gonna do it five times. Now, when your volcano is being built up, when the lava is coming to the top, that's when you're breathing in through your nose, and when you're exploding out of the top, that's when you're breathing out through your mouth. And what's that called again? Circle breathing, right, all right. So we're gonna do this five times. It's a slower process, all right? So we're gonna go in and explode out. In, explode out. Keep going, two more. Last one, breathe in your nose and explode out your mouth. And you guys can work on that. So if you can't do the in and out as slow as I was doing it right now, work on it. You'll get slower and slower as you go. It's easier if your heart rate is slowed down to do it longer. And then you could even go slower than I was doing. And that'll make you feel even more calm. All right. So that was volcano breathing. Again, if you're with your group, with a family member, maybe you just want to pause and practice. Now's your time to practice, talk about how that made you feel, um, and see if you guys have done it before. So pause your video if you'd like. All right. Our last breathing technique that we're going to work on today for our life skill of calming breathing techniques is called pursed lips. Now, you're going to feel funny, but it's okay. But this is going to be a breathing technique where you're going to breathe into your nose for two counts. So I'm going to use my fingers and then you're going to purse your lips and breathe out. But so what the thing is, is that when you breathe in through your nose, you're going to keep your lips shut. And when you breathe out through your mouth, you're going to puck your lips like you're going to whistle, but you're not going to uh, open your mouth. So no spaces. You got to blow them open. Okay, and that's gonna be a four count. So in through your nose for two counts, out through your puckered, kissy fish face for four, okay? Ready? I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is a little bit harder. You're really having to push your air out. Okay, we're gonna do four more so we get our practice of five in. So I'm gonna be, instead of talking, I'm gonna be doing my uh, finger counts just cause it's easier to do it. Ready? Last one. All right, pause and talk, do extra practice with your pursed lip breathing. So those are three techniques that we went over today. They're good practice. Um, and also if you just need to take a minute out of the day and reset like after lunch, after you're eating, reset your mind before you start a new project, this, that's good. Always take time to just sit and breathe. It really helps, I promise. All right, so for all my sore friends and all my friends from around, Make sure you guys are signing up. We still have some May activities left and we got a bunch of June activities coming up. Make sure you're getting in. A couple of them have deadlines before their date. Um, we have a really fun dinner cruise coming up. It's called a Serene uh, Lake Cruise with Sepper. So make sure you guys are getting your tickets for that. We have an entire riverboat to ourselves for two hours plus dinner is gonna be served, supper. So make sure you're getting your tickets for that. and. Oh, we have a ton of fun act outdoor activities coming up. So be looking at that. Be looking at some of those May classes coming up still next week that you can still get in for. Uh, go to our website, www.projectsoarmn.org. If you don't live in our Twin Cities Project Soar area, you guys can still join us for our online classes. We love it when all of our friends from around the country join us for our online classes go ahead and look at those our sword disney clubs are coming up in june july and august but then also in july we will have our game nights from home which are online classes as well that you can join so go ahead 
go to our website, again, www.projectsolarmn.org and check us out. Check out uh, what's open for registration and you can hit the register online button and it'll take you right to our site. Everyone have a great Wednesday.